Hey everyone, it's Mandy from Daydream Face Painting. Today we'll be doing this cute Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer look. I'm going to start out with some tag pearl white down the center of the nose and just in between the eyebrows. Then I'll take my Paradise Prisma Cake in the color Furry and I'm going to load up my flat brush with the two lightest colors. And with the darker color on the outside, I'm going to make a strip up each side of the nose and curving over the eyebrow. So up and curving over the eyebrow. Then I'll come back in with my sponge and just blend that out. And next I've loaded up some Superstar Fire Red and I'm just going to make my whole nose this bright pretty red color. And then I'll come in while the paint is still wet with some red metallic cosmetic glitter and I'll just dab that onto the wet paint. So first I thought I'd try the light brown color, but it ended up looking like I had a tooth with my red lipstick on, so I quickly figured out that was not going to work. So I went ahead and took a baby wipe and wiped off the red lipstick, and then I'll start over, and I'll show you what I'll do. I'm going to load up the lightest two colors, and then using the tan color on the bottom, I'm going to go straight across my top lip and just blend that out really well. My favorite thing about these Paradise paints is how blendable and beautiful and soft they are. So you can see it's super easy just to blend that out so easily. And I'm going to go along the bottom lip as well and just use the tan color to kind of make my bottom lip invisible. This is just an optional step. You don't have to do this when you're doing this design. And now using a number two low Cornell brush, I'm going to load up some of the top black color and I'm going to pull a line straight down from the bottom of the center of my nose down and split the lip. And then I'll take the black across the bottom of the, my top lip as well. And now using a 3 4 inch flat brush, I'm going to load up the top three colors onto my brush for the ears. And a lot of people tend to make reindeer ears shaped like cat's ears, but they're really not. They're more like, um, almost like a leaf shape. And I'm going to point them outward. Um, having that black on the edge makes it super nice because if you didn't want to, you don't even have to outline this design. It, it just makes it really fast. So I'm going to come to the other side and do the same thing. It's almost like a leaf shape pointing outward. And now using the middle three colors, I'm going to load up that same flat brush. And then I'm going to come to the center of the forehead and make a curved line across. Using that same sponge as before, I'm just going to come in and blend the edge out. And now for the fastest antlers ever, I'm going to use a large filbert brush and load up the top three colors. And this just makes these antlers so fast because you don't even have to make the shape, the brush does the hard work for you. So it's basically just three little lines down, two bumps at the top and then one line to connect it for the antlers. It's super fast and super easy. And now I'm actually just going to use my finger since the paint was still damp to make some little dots on my cheek. If you had a small dauber, you could use that as well, or you could just use a large paintbrush, but I wanted these to be softer, so I'm just using my finger. Now I'm going to go in with some DFX White on a number two brush, and I'll just add some highlights for definition. And now I'm going to flick some white furry lines out from the center of the ears. Since the nose is all nice and dry, we'll add a quick highlight to the nose as well. And I've loaded up some Superstar Line Black on my number two liner brush. 
and I'm going around and outlining the edges. This is totally optional because the, of the black on the cake, you don't have to do this step. And now I'm just gonna load up the top two colors and I'm gonna use one of my graffiti eye stencils to add a little bit of extra pop on the eyelids just because I love these stencils so much. I just think it adds a little bit extra. And that's it, that's the finished look. I hope you guys like this and you can try this out. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.